So right now, as you can imagine, families affected by that, those tornadoes, they are in need of help. The destruction, as you just saw, has left many without homes, without food or water. Christina Mendez shows us how Marylanders are among those stepping up. The group of volunteers from our area will be on the ground handing out food, supplies, and providing disaster mental health services. A deadly string of tornadoes tore a 200 mile path across six states. An aerial view of hard hit Kentucky shows a sliver of the devastation, the disaster leveling homes, turning businesses into rubble, and igniting a search for survivors. It's very hard to, to do a, a large scale tornado response. Ashley Henyon with Red Cross says volunteers go through training to prepare. Locally, three Marylanders are on their way to Kentucky, along with 13 other volunteers from our region. Seeing this kind of damage firsthand can only be described as surreal. It is just very hard to see and process, and then to know that there's a real family, um, a mother, a father, children, pets, behind those those destroyed homes. Home base for the volunteers will be at the Kentucky Dam Village State Park, just half an hour away from Mayfield, a small town left mangled. Going out in teams of two with their vehicles stocked full of either supplies or warm meals, whatever the need is. Hanyan says the help is just beginning. So the best way to help is with a financial donation and giving the gift of life. You have to imagine that with roads being impassable and such widespread damage that many of those blood drives, they're closed right now. So that means that there are units of blood that will be missing to, to our hospital partners unless people outside the impacted area step up. Deployment for a team of volunteers is typically two weeks, but Red Cross says that more people will come in to assist families for as long as necessary. Reporting from Baltimore, I'm Christina Mendez for WJZ. Just absolutely heartbreaking two weeks before Christmas. Yeah, it's a horrible, horrible, beyond imagining, really.